Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. We are live from Thunder Ridge Nature's Arena down here in beautiful uh, Branson. The PBR Thunder Days happening this weekend, starting tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. And now I am so thrilled, excited, and somewhat scared to say we have been where most people don't get to go. We are back, like backstage. Would you call this backstage? What do you call this area, Steve? Backstage. Backstage, that works. <laughs> Steve Medusic is here. He uh, brings, he brought 10 bulls for this weekend's PBR. We're now back behind the scenes where the bulls are. And if you can see, Gangsta Time is right behind me. And he's being very calm. He was kicking dirt a little bit ago. So, now Steve, tell me about Gangsta Time, how you got him, and, and how he rides in the rodeo. You were telling me some great stories about him. Uh, he's a nice little bull I bought from Ricky West a few years back. Um, and I think the good thing for him at these deals is we really don't know what direction he's gonna go. Um, he could go left, could go right, so the team's got to really find a guy that can go either direction to uh, have a chance to ride him. So can you tell our viewers, because I just learned something new about going right or going left. Tell the viewers about when the when they break open, if they go open to the left or to the right, and what the bull does. Well, normally at a, a traditional PBR, uh, our deliveries, all one side's left, all one side's right. And at these deals, um, for the team format, they like the teams on each side, so... Um, they put a right-hand delivery and a left-hand delivery on each side of the let-out gate. So sometimes these bulls that verse, you know, get thrown in the left-hand delivery on the far end in a corner or the right-hand delivery in a corner might go uh, the opposite direction what they normally go. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes that changes the dynamics. So does the bull rider know going in what way that shoot's going to open and which way he thinks the bull might go? Yeah, oh, yeah they, def yeah, they definitely have a game plan set. So they, they do have a, a game plan. It's not just getting on that bull and hoping for the best. They have something in their head like they're going to do. Oh, these guys study a lot of videos. You know, they, they, just like a football team or any other sports team, these, they, they study these animals, and um, these coaches know these animals pretty well. So they have a pretty dang mm – -hmm. if everything goes to plan, uh, it should come out, but when you're dealing with bucking bulls, you don't always get the plan you want. Right. Now, tell me more about uh, Gangsta Time. How long have you had him? How long will he continue in the circuit? Man, I've had him about two years, um, and at this level, at this level, you, there is no guarantee. Um, <laughs> at this level, they want the best bulls, so as long as he performs, he'll stay at this level, but uh, just like any bull here, they can always go down a level. Right. Do you, do you, you know, I have animals, I have dogs, I have cats, I have deer in my yard, I get attached to. Do you get attached to these bulls? Because, you know, you're with them all the time. Is it is it like a pet to you? Oh, most definitely. You know, you spend a lot of time, a lot of hours traveling, loading, unloading, feeding late nights. Um, yeah, they're they're part of the family. And I know he's, you know, he's a bucking bull, as my grandma, my grandma used to sing at rodeos, by the way, fun fact, with her sisters. Um, with the bulls, though, do they get to know you? Are they comfortable with you because you're their handler? Uh, yeah, they, 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 they definitely know who, who takes care of them. You know, and you get random people come by the house and they throw their heads up and go to looking and running wild because they don't, you know, so. So it, it's, he's not really scared of me because you're here with me. Like, if, if you were not here, would he act differently towards me? Probably not this one. Okay. Just because he's, he's seen enough and been enough, but uh, them younger bulls definitely would. And what I like, too, is, like, I, you know how much the viewers know I love animals. I love animals so much, but you, you kind of want to pet them. But I'm not going to pet them. Steve, come, come this way just a little bit for me, sir. Uh, I want to pet him. What would happen if I tried to, to pet a bull? This one might let you. He, he might let me? Yeah. I'm not going to, guys. I'm not going to. But here, let's step over here, Steve, because I just want the audience to get a good shot of this amazing uh, creature. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. Come on. We're trying to get his attention for y'all. Oh, he's looking side-eye at me. He's like, what's happening? Will he, will he be uh, riding tonight at the yes. PBR? Yes. Yep. And how old is he one more time? Six years old. Six years old. And he's full grown right now. Full grown. And by the way, you're looking at this bull. I've never been this close, I don't think. I mean, maybe a few years ago when they were having the PBR in Springfield. But it's so awesome to see something so close up. And by the way, what you can't see too, guys, is uh, to the left of me, to your right, there's two beautiful horses over here. Now, are these horses going to be part of the rodeo over that part of the safety? Yes, uh, the, the safety man, Stu, will be riding them horses tonight, um, mm -hmm. roping any bulls that need help, assistance getting out of the arena. I'm excited, too, because coming up in the second hour, we're going to be talking to Stu and talking about the safety horses and what their part is of the PBR, because I've seen them a million times riding out there, and I was like, 
what are the guys on the horses doing? And now I'm learning so much about the PBR here and being behind the scenes. Guys, this is amazing out here. You got to check it out this weekend. Uh, but that's coming up more in the second hour. But first, guys, this weather is so amazing. You couldn't ask for a better forecast for the PBR this weekend. I know uh, Tom and Maddie are back in studio. This weather's gorgeous down here, guys. I was chilly at first, but now I'm doing pretty good.